I want to take a few moments now to look at German syntax. Now, some of you are probably wondering, well, what, what is syntax? And it's actually derived from the ancient Greek. Uh, syn and taxis, uh, together arrangement, an arranging together of components in a sentence. So what that really means in modern English is word order. How are words, how are verbs, adjectives, how are all of these things arranged in a sentence so that it sounds um, correct? Um, this is something that we do in English all the time. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, uh, in English it's rather transparent. We grow up speaking English, uh, most of us have, and uh, we just do it naturally. It sounds good to us. The problem is when we learn a foreign language, well, how do we put our our expressions, our, our verbs, our vocabulary, all that together in a way that it sounds authentically German? Let's take a look at English syntax briefly because um, English is also a Germanic language and many of the aspects of English syntax can be applied to German. Not all of them, but it'll give us a good start. So let's look at the sentence on the uh, on the screen for right, uh, at the moment. We will drive this evening in my car to Berlin. So um, let's take the sentence apart, starting at the left side of the screen and moving towards the right. We have we as the subject of the sentence. It's a first person plural personal pronoun. It's also the subject of the sentence. It's the, it's the part of the sentence that is performing the action. And well, what, what is the action? What are they going to do? They will drive. It's a future tense verb. Uh, in English we have to use the uh, to, will drive. Um, but it's a first person plural verb. Uh, now this is where it gets a little interesting after the subject and the verb. We have this adverbial clause, the third component of the sentence. This is a rather large section of the sentence and it's a, it's a large chunk that can be broken down into further subcomponents. So let's take a look at this adverbial clause, this evening in my car to Berlin. So the first part is, we notice, is, um, well, when? When will you be driving? That's the time, the time component of the adverbial clause. Well, this evening. All right, so the time, and then after that we have the manner. Well, in what manner will you be driving to Berlin this evening? Well, the manner in which I will be driving will be in my car. So we have, so far, the time component and the manner component in this adverbial clause. Now finally, well, where are you going? Place. I'm going to Berlin. So, in this adverbial clause, we have essentially three components. Time, manner, and place. Now, let's look at the same thing that we have, the same sentence translated into German. Via. First person, plural, personal pronoun, subject of the sentence, the, the actor, the, the primary agent performing the action. So what is this person doing? Fahren. First person, pers first person plural verb. Second component in the sentence. Uh, same, so far, the same thing that we had in English. Wir fahren, we will drive. Now, let's look at the third part the third component of this sentence. Heute Abend in meinem Auto nach Berlin. All right, another huge adverbial clause, the third component of the sentence. The first component is the subject, the second component is the verb, the third component is the adverbial clause. So let's take this a little bit apart. We have the time. When will you be driving to Berlin? Heute Abend, this evening. All right, we also have the manner in which it will be done, in meinem Auto, in my car. And then finally, we have nach Berlin, to Berlin. So essentially, what we have in German and in English, roughly, is a time, manner, place. In English, this is just for review, syntax comparison. We will drive this evening in my car to Berlin time and our place. We also have 
components one, two, and three. Subject, verb, and adverbial clause. Now, putting up the German right next to the English, we essentially have almost the same thing. Wir fahren heute Abend in meinem Auto nach Berlin. We, uh, wir, first person, uh, the first component in the sentence, fahren, the verb, and then we have heute Abend in meinem Auto nach Berlin. Again, time, manner, place. So this is a very important thing to note right now. When we are making sentences in German, generally the sort of standard default is time, manner, place. Wir fahren, all right? What time are we driving? How are we getting there? Where are we going? Time, manner, place. Now, this is where it becomes a little <coughs> more complicated. But there's a, there's a method to the madness. Let's take a closer look at the adverbial clause. Heute Abend in meinem Auto nach Berlin. So, what German lets us do is emphasize in the sentence what is most important by placing that in the first position. So, let's take a look at the sentence that we were, we've been playing with up to this point. Wir fahren heute Abend in meinem Auto nach Berlin. So we have these different columns, one, two, and three. First, the f first position is wir, the subject. What are we doing? We are driving. Second position, fahren. And then the third position, we have the adverbial uh, phrase, time, manner, place. Now, what this emphasizes is by placing this at the very beginning of the sentence, that's where the attention is. By the time I get to the end of the sentence, my attention is maybe elsewhere. A lot of these German sentences are long, and well, you know, I, my attention span just isn't that long. So, in German, what we want to do is we place all of that most important stuff at the beginning of the sentence. So, here it's via. But what if I want to emphasize something totally different? Heute Abend fahren wir in meinem Auto nach Berlin. Now, I can do this in German. German allows me to say, well, it's not the fact that we are traveling to Berlin that's most important, but the fact that heute Abend, this evening, is, uh, is the most important. Not tomorrow evening, not yesterday evening, this evening. You need to get there on time. So this evening is most important. I can take that at the beginning of the sentence. So, you'll see that the time will get the time component of the adverbial clause gets shift towards the front. It essentially swaps places with the subject of the sentence, via. But the manner and the place stays the same. In English that would sound odd. This evening travel we in my car to Berlin. Sounds odd in English. In German they do it all the time. Now the other thing is, well, let's say I not it's the, not the time that's important, but instead it is the manner. So I could do the same thing. In meinem Auto fahren wir heute nach Berlin. So the time component of the adverbial phrase gets pushed back into the adverbial phrase, the adverbial clause, and the manner component gets put at the first part of the sentence, the first slot, the first component. In meinem Auto fahren wir heute nach Berlin. Now, what if someone says, are you traveling to München? Are you traveling to Munich? You're like, no, I'm traveling to Berlin. So I could emphasize the place. Nach Berlin fahren wir heute Abend in meinem Auto. So the place component of the adverbial clause gets put towards the beginning of the sentence in the first position, and the manner gets pushed back into the adverbial clause. So I think here we can see a pattern. The pattern is I could put a subject or any component of the adverbial clause in the first position. German lets me do that. I won't, I won't sound stilted and funny. However, if it's a statement, the verb, if I, if, uh, the verb by default will always come in the second position. Always there, if it's a statement. Now, if I switch out the subject of the sentence 
with another, comp another component of the adverbial phrase. I need to put the subject directly after the verb. I want to get the subject as close to the verb as I can. Either it comes before it in the first, in the first position or it comes at the very beginning of the third position. In any case, I want to get that as close to the verb as possible. The verb always stays in the second position if it's a statement, not a question, if it's a statement. And then finally, I could put whatever I want in the first position depending upon what I personally want to emphasize.